Hi folks, this is Linear Algebra, Quiz 12. We're given V and W, two vector spaces, and a function T is a linear transformation between the two. We're given uh, two sets to look at. In part A, the kernel of T is defined to be the set of all vectors V and V, uh, so that T of V is the zero vector in W. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm, uh, they're the things in V that get sent to zero. We're asked to prove that the kernel of T is a subspace of V. So we go back to our subspace criteria. So what's our subs uh, subspace criteria? Um, well, I don't want to use W. Uh, we're just going to use kernel T here. So we need to check two things. Is the zero vector in V in the kernel of T? And two, if I have two vectors that are in the kernel of T, is any linear combination in there as well? So the two questions we have to answer. So, uh, to answer question number one. Well, we had a theorem uh, in class that says that uh, since T is linear, T of the zero vector in V is the zero vector in W. All right, that was a theorem we proved in class. Hence, the zero vector in V is an element of the kernel of T. Okay, so number one is done. Number two. Let's suppose we have two fixed but generic elements in the kernel of T and two fixed but generic real numbers alpha and beta. So let U and V belong to the kernel of T and alpha and beta belong to the real numbers. What do we have to show? We have to show that this linear combination is in the kernel of T. And what's it mean to, for something to be in the kernel of T? It means that when I take T of that thing, I'm getting the zero vector in W. Okay, well, let's write down what it means for these things to be in the kernel of T then. then T of u, T of the vector u, is the zero vector in w, and T of the vector v is the zero vector in w. Alright, so that's what it means for these two to be in there. I need to show that this is in there, so I need to take T of that. So, since T is linear, look what I can do. T of alpha U plus beta V by linearity is alpha T of U plus beta T of V. Right? Linear transformations preserve linear combinations. But T of U is what? That's the zero vector in W, and that's the zero vector in W as well. And we have a theorem about vector spaces that says any real number times a zero vector is the zero vector. And the zero vector by definition is the additive identity, and so that plus itself is just that. So what have we just shown? If I take T of alpha U plus beta V, I get the zero vector in W, which is exactly what, it, uh, what I need to do to belong to this set. So hence, alpha U plus beta V is in the kernel of T, and that's, we're done. So since the kernel of T 
satisfies the subspace criteria it is a subspace of V so that'll do it for part A